Which is why we're excited to announce that Cata Classic will be experienced at a faster rate, um, faster than the original. So if you don't know already, firstly, Blizzard have now announced exactly what they're going to do with Dragon Wrath, so the legendary staff that comes from Firelands. Now, of course, before we even look at it, you expect to be able to make staves quicker in 25 than you do 10. But there's a couple of things that I'd personally like to see changed, and I think when I break it down, you'll understand why. The whole meme start to the video as well was actually in regards to this post, which Blizzard have put out, which was put out by the WoW well Classic devs on Twitter, or X, I don't know, whatever you cool kids call it. And they've said that they've made tuning adjustments to increase the acquisition rate of the legendary staff, which is the primary thing that we're gonna talk about today. And they've also outlined how long it's gonna take again, which we're gonna get into in a minute, but they're also planning to extend the Firelands phase of Cataclysm Classic beyond the previously announced January end date. Now this is kind of ridiculous. They're already bleeding the community dry. So many people I even know have left. It's hard to even get a 25 man raid together for our guild, as in a full 25 man raid group. I'm not saying nobody's enjoying the game. Lots of people are enjoying the game and there are lots of things to do outside of raid if you're interested in doing them. That is mainly collecting pets, doing achievements, reputations, that sort of thing. But really for those of us that just want to log on and raid or do repeatable challenging PvE content like M plus on retail as an example, then there just isn't any of that in Cataclysm and that's not going to change. So let's look at exactly what they're doing with the staff and why part of it is not bad. Now what you need to remember is it says four and a half to six weeks per staff for 25 man, but you can run multiple staffs at a time. Now before the second person can start collecting the embers, which is the first collection quest, the first person is going to take probably two weeks to get theirs done. So you're actually, once you get it rolling and you've sort of got that four and a half to six weeks in and you've got one staff made, you should really be making another staff every two weeks-ish from then on. Sometimes you might get unlucky for whatever reason and it takes three weeks, but you know what I'm saying. It's not going to be four and a half to six weeks between each staff. It's going to be four and a half to six weeks before the first staff. But anyway, what have they done? So today's new test build includes various tuning adjustments and the acquisition rate of Dragon Wrath in Firelands. Changes have been made to the quests All Seeing Eye, Time Grows Short and Heart of the Flame, and the respective drop rates of Eternal Embers, Seething Cinders and Smoldering Essence. So on 25 man, normal and heroic, it's expected that players on average will be able to complete all gathering stages in four and a half to six weeks, with each individual gathering stage taking no more than one and a half to two weeks. And then for 10 man, both normal and heroic, it's expected it to average between nine to 12 weeks, with each individual gathering stage taking no more than three to four weeks. It's basically double, which don't get me wrong, this is the bit where it does make sense. 25 man's got more people, 25 man needs to make more staves over a 10 man, or does it? The reason I say or does it is because even though Blizzard have said we're gonna be in the phase longer than January, even though this is meant to be accelerated cadence, Jesus, I'd like to see what it is if they slowed it down. Does it really matter anymore? These staves are just gonna be used for two raid tiers. Two raid tiers that have got very few bosses. In Firelands, by the time you get the staff, you're gonna be, by the time you get the first staff, let's say on 10 man, you're gonna be three months in potentially. By then, you're going to be bored of doing the content anyway. If you've been farming it every week to get your first staff for the first 9 to 12 weeks, the whole buzz around Firelands by then has probably started to wear a bit thin anyway. So why not just have it all the same? Let people do 10-man if they want to do 10-man. Let people do 25 if they want to do 25. If the big sweaty guilds want to break down into like 9 or 10 splits in 10-man to be able to get more staffs, let them do it. Who actually cares? Because it's not like this is going to be something you use for the next 10 years. This is something you're going to use for two raid tiers. And that's it. So I'm kind of on the fence whether I agree that 25 man should be quicker or it should just be exactly the same and let people just enjoy the raid how they want without feeling forced to do 25 man. Because I'll tell you, I'm in a 10 man raiding guild, but I won't be raiding 10 man on my priest that I want to get the staff on. I'll be doing 25 man GDKPs. Why would I make myself raid for more time than I need to in terms of the amount of weeks that it's going to take to get it? when I'm going to 25 man and it's going to be a hell of a lot quicker. Now I think there could be a happy medium here, as in 25 man can be a little bit quicker, but it shouldn't be double 
as fast because the fact that it's already going to be faster to get that first one and complete the collection quests like that's that's enough you're going to then be rolling every two weeks getting a new staff in 25 man whereas every four weeks you're going to be getting a new staff in 10 man i think if there was about a two week difference for that initial staff but that was you know about it that would kind of be okay so it's not twice as fast in 25 man but you will get it a couple of weeks before the first 10 man but from then on it's basically just every couple of weeks in both but actually the thing i've got the biggest problem with is that 25 man normal and heroic are being i don't know put in the same bucket and so is 10 man normal and heroic how i potentially would fix this would actually be to have normal exactly the same and heroic exactly the same so if you do 10 man normal or 25 man normal it's going to take Sorry, I'm having to look at my laptop. It's going to take 9 to 12 weeks to get a staff. If you do 10-man heroic or 25-man heroic, then you're going to be doing it in four and a half to six weeks. Because let's be fair, 10 and 25 heroic are meant to be almost equal in difficulty. That's the whole point. That's the whole aim. 10-man heroic and 25-man heroic give the same loot. 10-man normal and 25-man normal give the same loot. So is it just me? Let me know in the comments, but I feel like that would make more sense than having normal and heroic 25 doing a staff at one speed and 10 heroic and 10 normal doing a staff at another speed. Just my opinion. And then finally, they've made a couple of changes around one of the bits of the quest, which probably, unless you've looked into it, won't make much sense to you at the moment, but you need to get fragments from the bosses. And ordinarily, you can only have one person get that fragment at a time, but now you can have three people get that fragment at a time. And where you need to open a portal to be able to go and kill an extra boss, you can actually continue to open that portal even after you've completed the quest where that wasn't the case before. I mean, both of those are sensible changes, got absolutely no complaints whatsoever. But the last thing they just tacked on the end of the post is the biggest one. I think it's actually bigger than getting staves quicker, if I'm honest. And that's the fact that they've increased the drop chance of crystallized firestone from all respective sources in Firelands. Now, crystallized firestones are what you need to upgrade things like your relics or the BOEs that drop from the raid. The belt as a prime example for level wearers because it's going to be the only one that you can get, which is Rip Limb's collar. And that's just a trash drop, which you'll be able to upgrade to obviously heroic eye level. Now, these things were ridiculously low drop chance back in the day and pretty much on any server I've ever played on. So this is a super, super positive change. Uh, I'm just interested to see exactly how many of these are going to be dropping. But before it was like a 10% drop chance. I mean, you work that out. There's only seven bosses. Some weeks you wouldn't even see one. So yeah, this is a really, really positive change. Now, the only other positive change that they need to make is they need to allow the reputation items that come from the Avengers of Hyjal to be able to be upgraded with these Firestones as well, like was initially intended back in original Cataclysm, but just never made the cut for whatever reason. Because there are actually some slots that some classes, for example, a Balanced Druid, can't get full Heroic in every slot, because some of these items don't exist. Whereas if you could use the Firestones to actually upgrade the reputation gear, that problem is completely solved, as is a problem with the fact that every single intellect user is going to want the same cape, as you've probably heard me speak about in other videos as well. But that's it. That's what Blizzard are doing with the staff. That's what they're doing in terms of actual cadence now as well. We're going to be raiding past January in Firelands. Whether that just means February, I don't know. But uh, it's seven bosses, man. Honestly, they're already dragging. They've dragged it out already, Cataclysm. And, and this is not me saying it because I want to get to mop quicker, even though I do want to get to mop quicker. This is me saying it for the health of the game. We need to be getting through content quicker. Do they not learn anything from their retail counterparts who we've already got a new patch dropping next week and the War Within's only been out for a few months. Well, it's even been a few months. Blizzard need to start realising that, especially in Classic, where many people have done the content before, information of how to clear the raids and all of that is so more readily available that we should not be spending this amount of time in the same raid tier. It's kind of pathetic if you ask me, but... Anyway, <laughs> ending on a negative note, I don't want to do that, so let's end on a positive note. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out, streaming back on Twitch as well now. I still stream on Kick, but on Twitch as well, ScottyJ87 on Twitch or ScottyJ on Kick. I'll see you on the next one.